Today we start with the second part, which is about the Julian system homotopy type theory. We will um, introduce the. We want to introduce today the main uh, novelties, so the axioms of uh, function extensionality and univalence, and uh, the higher inductive types. To to introduce the axioms, uh, we will at first uh, discuss a bit uh, the notion of equivalence uh, and uh, uh, analyze uh, the structure of uh, equality for uh, the different uh, canonical types. So. To the, the, the axioms uh, of uh, univalence as, as a uh, function extensionality are uh, the two main novelties of uh, this system from respect to Martin Loft type theorem. And um, to, to see uh, why it, it's quite natural to, to introduce them, we will uh, study, uh, we, well, we will study equality for type formers, uh, and uh, before uh, to we need to introduce uh, two notions, uh, which are the notion of uh, homotopy and uh, the notion of equivalence. So, um, given uh, a dependent type P, which depends uh, on A, and uh, two functions uh, F and G of uh, type uh, pi x of type A P, we we say that. Uh, uh, there is a homotopy from uh, the function g to the function f is a term of uh, this type, which um, so the which uh, which means that uh, uh, for each uh, x in a uh, f of x is equal to f of g to g of x. So there is a uh, homotopy between the two functions uh, if they are pointwise equal. For each, uh, for each point. Informally, uh, we, when we have a function f from a to b, we, we will call uh, is equiv a type which says that uh, f is an equivalence. But uh, it's not so easy to define uh, the notion of equivalence. We will uh, study this notion in details uh, in uh, next week's lecture. But uh, by now, well, we could say that uh, um, the most intuitive um, notion of equivalence is uh, that uh, every, a function is a, an equivalence when it is invertible. So when uh, there is another function g from uh, b to a, which is both uh, a right and a left inverse. We, we say that uh, when uh, quimv of f is inhabited, g is a quasi inverse of f. And uh, as I said, th this is uh, the most intuitive uh, notion, which uh, is similar to the notion of isomorphism in categories, but uh, it's not uh, the right one. Indeed, uh, um, we have to consider a more general notion of equivalence. Uh, we will call is equiv. So uh, we say that uh, f is an equivalence when it has uh, a right inverse uh, g and uh, a left inverse h. And um, well, uh, of course, uh, uh, being uh, a quasi inverse, uh, having uh, a quasi inverse uh, implies that. Uh, uh, F is, uh, is an equivalence. So quiv implies uh, is equiv. And uh, we use this notion, th this, uh, this notation, to say that uh, uh, the type uh, sigma uh, So when uh, we have that, when um, when there is uh, an equivalence uh, from uh, a type A to another type B. We will see, uh, as I said uh, next week, uh, that uh, this is one of three different uh, but equivalent uh, notions of uh, equivalence. Now, um, let's consider a, a type A. We have that uh, for, um, for all the canonical types, which we have uh, seen uh, last week, 
the equality type uh, X uh, equal Y in A can be characterized by the data which uh, is used to construct uh, X and Y up to equivalences. We will see uh, a result about that for uh, products, dependent pair and the unit type. And uh, we will see that uh, this, um, this characterization can be generalized uh, um, to dependent product and universes uh, through the, the two axioms. So function extensionality generalizes uh, this, this property to the dependent product and univalence to universes. Um, we then, uh, for, we will see that for uh, coproducts uh, and uh, natural numbers holds uh, well, something uh, similar, but uh, not exactly. And uh, for them, we will have to introduce uh, a coding function. Now let's start uh, uh, with, the, with the product. Let, uh, let us consider if X and Y of type uh, A product B and a path P from X to Y. Then for by lemma seven, which we have seen last week, I suppose, sorry. Yes, which is the one about the application. So by lemma seven, we have that uh, we can obtain a path um, PR one of P of type uh, uh, of the equivalence uh, type of the quality type uh, PR one of X uh, equal PR one of Y. And uh, we, opt we can obtain this path uh, using application in uh, PR one. And uh, we can do the same for uh, PR two. Uh, so uh, AP of PR2 of P is a term of type PR2 of X equal PR2 of Y. So this uh, automatically generates a function mapping uh, the terms of type X equal Y to the terms of, uh, of the coproduct type PR1 of X equal PR1 of Y coproduct P, uh, product, sorry, PR2 of X equal PR2 of Y. This holds trivially, but uh, we can also prove that uh, this function, the function um, in the equation one, is uh, indeed an equivalence. To prove this result, we prove indeed that uh, um, there is a quasi inverse from the from the product type uh, to x equal y and uh, we do so by induction so by the induction rule we can assume that uh, x and y are pairs respectively the pair a b and the pair a prime b prime for a prime in a terms of type a and b b prime uh, terms of type b and uh, so we will have to construct a function from uh, the product of the two equality to the equality type of, uh, of pairs, which is here. But uh, again, by induction, we, on the product, uh, we may assume to have uh, P of type uh, A equal A prime Q of type uh, B equal B prime. And then again, by two path inductions, uh, we can assume uh, A equal to A prime, B equal to B prime, that uh, P is a uh, reflexivity on, um, on A, and uh, that Q is a uh, reflexivity on B. So um, we have that uh, the two pairs, uh, A, B, and uh, A prime, B prime are uh, equal. And uh, so what we need to construct uh, is uh, a map from uh, ref A product uh, ref B. Um, so sorry, we we can take just the the required, the required function as uh, reflexivity on the pair A or B. 
Now we need to prove that uh, this function is indeed a quasi inverse. To do so, we start uh, from uh, a, a path uh, R from X to Y. And uh, by path induction, uh, we assume that R, uh, we assume, sorry, that uh, X is uh, equal to Y and uh, so that uh, R is uh, the reflexivity on X. Now, by definition of uh, D2, D2AP, of uh, pair one and uh, of the first and the second projection, we have that uh, our uh, path R, which is uh, the reflexivity on X, is mapped to the pair of the reflexivities on the first and second projection of X. But uh, by induction on X, we can assume that uh, it is uh, the pair uh, A, A and B. And so, uh, we, we have that uh, R is actually mapped to the pair RAFLA and RAFLA B, which uh, is mapped by the second equation to the reflexivity on uh, the pair RB, which is indeed R. Now we need to prove uh, that the, the second direction. And so let's take um, S term of the product type of the two equalities on the first and second projection. Now we assume by induction of an X and Y, then that they are both pairs. Again, X is the pair here B and Y is the pair A prime B prime. And um, by induction on S, we can assume that uh, S is uh, a pair PQ with uh, P of type A equal A prime and Q of type B equal B prime. But again, by induction on Q and P, we can assume that they are uh, the two reflexivities on A and B. And so we have that uh, the second equation maps S, which is uh, the, the pair of the two ref A and B to the reflexivity on the pair air B, which uh, uh, the first equation sends back uh, to the pair of the two reflexivities on A and B, which is indeed S. So we proved that uh, this map is a quasi inverse, and so that uh, our equation is an equivalence. This proves, uh, the, this uh, means that uh, uh, equivalence uh, on a product type uh, can be expressed uh, by the, um, the equality, sorry, uh, equality of a product type uh, can be expressed uh, uh, using the two equalities uh, of the projection. So, um, we, we have showed uh, in particular that uh, uh, our first equation is an inverse, and uh, we denote uh, this inverse as a pair equal from uh, the product type of the qualities to the quality on the product type. And uh, what we notice is that uh, given a path P from uh, the first projection on, on, on X to the first projection of Y and uh, a path Q from the second projections, we have that uh, the AP of the first projection of the pair of pair equal of the pair Q is uh, P, and uh, AP of on the second projection of the pair uh, of pair equal of uh, pair PQ is Q, and um, also we have that uh, uh, if uh, R is a path from X to Y, then uh, it is equal to the pair equal of the two AP, the, of the pair of the two, two AP on R. So this means that uh, uh, up to um, the equality type, we have that uh, uh, pair equal is, um, well, um, com com composing uh, pair equal to the AP of the projection is, leads to, to equality. It's to the identity. 
Uh, it also holds uh, that uh, a special case of uh, this theorem helps uh, to say that uh, Z, if uh, when a type Z, a term Z is a term of type uh, A product B, uh, then it is equal to the pair of the um, of the two projections, which is uh, the propositional uniqueness prin principle for products. We can generalize uh, this result uh, this result to dependent pairs, but uh, it's not so straightforward for uh, uh, a problem which uh, we have already seen last week. Indeed. If uh, P is a path from uh, W to W, w prime with uh, W term of uh, sigma type, well, uh, it holds that uh, the first projection of P is a term of uh, on, in, the, in the quality of the first projection of, first projection of uh, W and w, w prime. But uh, in general, we have that uh, the second projections of uh, W and W prime are not uh, terms of the same type. So um, to obtain a similar result, uh, we need uh, to use the transport function. Indeed, uh, uh, what uh, can be proved uh, is that uh, if uh, P is uh, a type uh, which depends on A and uh, W and W prime are two terms of the sigma type, then uh, there is an equivalence uh, from uh, the type uh, W equal W prime to the sigma type, stating that uh, there is uh, a path uh, P from uh, the first projection of W to the first project projection of uh, W prime, such that uh, P star of the second projection of W is uh, equal to the second projection of W, w prime. So uh, we need to use the transport function to lift uh, the, the equality and to obtain uh, the proper typing. Again, uh, we have that uh, a, a propositional uniqueness principle uh, can, for uh, dependent pair types can be obtained. And so we have that uh, if uh, Z is a term of a uh, sigma type, uh, then uh, it is equal uh, to the pair of the first projection of Z and uh, the second projection of Z. We can prove uh, something similar also for um, the, the one type, which justifies uh, why it can be called uh, the nullary product. Indeed, uh, we have that uh, if uh, X and Y are uh, terms of type one, then uh, we have that the equality type uh, X equal Y is uh, congruent uh, to one. And so as a consequence, uh, we have that uh, if uh, every two terms of type one are indeed equal. So uh, to prove this result, uh, well, we see that uh, um, we all can always define a function from uh, x equal y equal y to one by sending all the terms of x equal y to the only element of one, which is star. And uh, conversely, if uh, we, we have uh, x, of y on x and y of type 1, we can always assume by induction that uh, they are uh, equivalent to star. And so um, we, we obtain uh, a function uh, from uh, 1 to x equal y uh, using, uh, by mapping uh, star, the, the terms of type 1 to the reflexivity on star. We now have uh, to show again that uh, uh, those two functions are quasi inverses. To do so, let's take uh, u of uh, type one. We assume by induction that uh, it is the term star. Uh, and uh, we notice that uh, star is also the result of uh, the composition of uh, the two maps from uh, one to x equal y to one again. In the other direction, we take the path, a path uh, P from X to Y, and uh, we suppose by path induction that uh, X and Y are, are equivalent. 
and that uh, P is uh, reflexivity on X. So um, then by induction on uh, one, we assume that uh, X is actually star. And uh, now we have that uh, decomposition uh, going from uh, X equal Y to one and back again to X equal Y. Um, actually maps uh, P to the reflexivity on X, which is uh, P by, by our, our assumptions uh, by induction. So um, again, uh, we can, uh, we have a simpler structure of, um, of the, the equality type uh, on one. And uh, we would expect uh, to, to have something similar also for uh, dependent functions. The, the most trivial thing, uh, the, the natural thing we could think, think of uh, is that uh, uh, the two functions, uh, uh, f, and g, f and g of uh, a dependent product type uh, are uh, equal when they are pointwise equal. Actually, uh, this uh, doesn't hold. We have that, well, uh, it can be proved by path induction that uh, there is a function uh, map from uh, f equal g to the type uh, uh, pi x of type a f of x equal g of x, but uh, it's not possible to prove the converse. And uh, so we have to assume it as an axiom, which is uh, the function extensionality axiom. It says uh, that uh, um, given uh, two, two dependent functions, uh, f and g, the, the, the apply function is, uh, is an equivalence. We have, uh, um, we would like to do a similar generalization uh, also for universes. And uh, this time uh, uh, we are interested in uh, relating uh, the equality type A equal B to the homotopy type from A to, from between A and B. In this case, uh, we can prove uh, that uh, there is a function which is called uh, id to equiv uh, mapping uh, the uh, equality type to the congruence to congruences, but uh, the converse uh, cannot be done. So let us construct this uh, this function, and uh, let's start uh, seeing that uh, the identity function between uh, universes can be um, can be seen as a type family indexed by the universe, and so. We can associate uh, to each path P uh, of, of type uh, A equal B, a transport function P star um, of uh, type A to B. We now uh, need to prove uh, that uh, P star is an equivalence. We do that uh, as usual by induction, assuming that uh, P is a reflexivity on A, which uh, implies uh, that uh, P star is the identity on A and uh, we have that uh, the identity on A uh, seen as a map from A to A is uh, equivalence and uh, it's uh, with uh, itself uh, as a quasi inverse. So uh, we can deduce that uh, PSR is an equivalence and, uh, and uh, we can define uh, it to equiv applied to F as uh, its tra transport function PSR. So we have uh, constructed uh, a, a nomotopy starting from uh, a, a path. But uh, uh, the opposite cannot be done. In, uh, in much of type theory, enriched with uh, function extensionality. And so uh, we need to introduce the second axiom of uh, our system, which is univalence, uh, stating that uh, our previous uh, function for is uh, indeed an equivalence. We say that uh, a, new, uh, a universe is univalent when it uh, satisfies uh, this axiom. Now, um, here uh, 
a proper choice of uh, the notion of equivalence is uh, fundamental. Indeed, uh, um, we, if uh, uh, taking PIMV as a uh, uh, notion of equivalence in the definition of a congruence would uh, lead to inconsistency. We will uh, not see this proof, I think, I'm not sure, but uh, um, yes, uh, it will uh, cause problems and lead to inc the inconsistency of the system while uh, taking uh, the other notion of equivalence. So having uh, both uh, uh, two, di two distinct uh, left and uh, right inverses uh, does not uh, cause these problems. So we have seen uh, a characterization of uh, equality for um, some, some uh, canonical types. We have to, now uh, we are going to study it for um, coproducts and uh, natural numbers. This time, uh, the characterization is uh, a bit different. Indeed, uh, we need a coding function. What uh, we would expect in the case of, uh, in the case of coproducts uh, is to have that uh, the equality of uh, two, two inclusions uh, well, starting from uh, two terms of uh, type A, the, the equality of uh, their inclusion would uh, be congruent to the equality of the two terms from which we started. And uh, we would expect that uh, um, the, the equality of uh, the inclusions, uh, well, a first inclusion of uh, a term of type A and the second inclusion of uh, a term of type B uh, will be congruent to the zero type. So we don't want uh, those two inclusion, inclusions uh, to, be, to be equal. What we have is that uh, fixing a term A0 of type A, we can define a code function um, from uh, A plus B to a universe, defining uh, it by, by cases. And so we say that uh, um, the code of uh, the first inclusion of uh, a term A of type A is uh, defined at uh, A0 equal A, while uh, the code of a second inclusion of a term of, of type B is uh, equivalent to the zero type, which is the, the empty type. Um, so uh, what can be proved is that uh, for every X of type uh, A plus B, the, the uh, equality type uh, of the first inclusion of A0 equal X is uh, congruent uh, to the code of X. And uh, we can obtain uh, an analogous result, of course, uh, fixing uh, B0 of type B instead of uh, A0 of type A. So what we have is that uh, um, the equality type of, uh, well, we, the, the result is uh, quite similar uh, in, uh, in the ideas uh, what we expected. And uh, is also similar to what can be obtained for natural numbers. In this case, uh, we define uh, a code function from n to n to universes, again by cases. We say that uh, the code of uh, zero, zero is uh, one. The code of the successor of M and zero is zero. The code of zero and the successor of N is zero. And uh, the code of the successor of M and the successor of N is uh, the code of M and N. And uh, for this uh, can be proved that uh, for every M and N uh, of naturals, their equality type uh, M equal, equal N is congruent uh, to the code of M and N. So this is it uh, for, uh, for equality. We, uh, let's uh, say two words now about the higher inductive types, which are uh, a, the last uh, novelty of uh, homotopy type theory. 
we say that uh, a higher inductive type is a type of which has, are specified uh, not only the canonical terms of type A, but uh, also the non-trivial terms uh, of uh, their um, equality type equal A or uh, the second order equality type equal equal A and so on. Of course, there, there will always be the, reflex the reflexivity but uh, also other uh, terms uh, will be introduced. And uh, those new structures uh, allow to represent uh, in a more intuitive way a lot of uh, mathematical objects. So uh, the easier way, easiest way to explain is to see an example. And uh, the first one is uh, the circle, S1. It's uh, constructed uh, um, introducing uh, a term base of type S1 and uh, another term loop of type base equal base. If we see um, base as a point and uh, path as a loop, uh, sorry, and uh, loop as a path from uh, base to base, which is uh, distinguished from uh, reflexivity, we can understand why it represents uh, the circle. Indeed, uh, mm, it, uh, we have seen that uh, um, the, the path can be composed uh, or uh, that we can obtain the inverse and so on. And uh, this is a way to represent uh, the fundamental group of, uh, of the circle. Something uh, similar can be done uh, to obtain the torus. In this case, uh, we generate uh, T2, saying that it has uh, a term B, a path uh, P from B to B, and uh, another path Q from B to B, whose uh, composition is uh, symmetric. So we have that uh, the composition of P and Q is uh, equal to the composition of uh, Q and P. And um, well, this, uh, this represents uh, the structure and uh, we, we can see in this case uh, the fourth rule, uh, which he does not only govern uh, equality, but uh, a second order equality. This um, second order equality is, um, well, a, no. Um, well, the last, uh, the last example, of higher inductive type is from category theory. Indeed, we can represent the notion of pushouts. Let us take a function f from c to a and another function g from c to b. We can construct their pushout, the pushout of a and b on c, introducing a term a left inclusion from A to the push-out, a right inclusion from B to the push-out, and saying that for each, for each term C of type C, there is a term glue of C, which states that the left inclusion of F of C is equal to the right inclusion of G of C. So actually, um, this, the, the push-out uh, is uh, constructed uh, as uh, the disjoint union of uh, A and B with uh, an additional, an additional uh, rule uh, stating that uh, F of C and uh, G of C are equal for, for every C. So if I manage to, okay, that's the idea. We have F from C to A and uh, from C to B. We have uh, here the left inclusion, the right inclusion, and uh, this uh, last rule saying that uh, this, the diagram is commutative. So um, this 
was it for the second part? Uh, I will introduce uh, a couple of notions uh, from the third part. Well, actually, just the, the one of set, because the, the third part of, uh, of this course uh, will uh, show how classical logic can be done in uh, homotopy theory. And so we will introduce the notions of sets, uh, mere propositions, uh, truncation, and uh, see how the axiom of choice uh, is uh, treated in uh, this system. So, mm, talking about sets, we have that, uh, um, well, to formalize mathematics uh, in, uh, in type theory, it is useful to introduce, introduce this, uh, this notion. And uh, here the idea is that uh, a type uh, is a set when it has no higher homotopical information. So all the paths uh, between the same two terms are equal. Um, which is, uh, a, in a sense, uh, a constraint uh, on the, well, we have uh, seen that we can introduce, uh, higher, in, in higher inductive types, uh, we can introduce uh, new terms so at uh, every degree of equality with sets, uh, we, we put a constraint on it. And uh, we say that uh, a type A is a set if uh, for all uh, X and the terms uh, X and Y of A and the path uh, P and Q from X to Y, we have that uh, P equal, is uh, equal to Q, which is uh, what's uh, formalized in, uh, in this definition. And um, with this definition, uh, we have that sets behave in a sense uh, as in category theory, because uh, their elements uh, are abstract points uh, whose uh, structure is ruled uh, by functions and uh, relations. Now, let us see a few examples. We have that uh, the type one is a set because uh, by the theorem uh, that we have seen uh, about uh, the equality on, on one, we have that uh, if uh, X and Y are terms of type one, then uh, their equality type uh, is uh, congruent to one. And so um, since uh, any two elements of one are equal, uh, this uh, holds uh, also for the, the elements of the equality type X equal Y. Then, uh, uh, of course, uh, zero is uh, trivially set. We also have that uh, type n is a set because uh, by the previous theorem on the coding, uh, we have that um, all the equality types uh, x equal y are equivalent to zero or to one or to one. And uh, uh, well, zero and one uh, are sets. Then uh, we have that uh, if uh, A and B are sets, uh, also their uh, product is. Indeed, uh, um, if we consider two terms of a product type X and Y and two path uh, P and Q, we have uh, by, by the previous theorem uh, that uh, P is equal to the pair equal of the, two applica of the applications uh, on the first and second projection of P and uh, the same also for Q, but uh, A is a set. So the application on the first projection of P is equal to the one on Q. And uh, uh, since uh, B is a set, uh, the same holds uh, for the second projection. And uh, for this reason, we have that uh, P is equal to Q. It uh, can also be shown that uh, if uh, B is uh, a type depending on A, such that uh, B of X is a set for each X in A, then uh, the dependent product is a set. And uh, we also have that uh, if uh, A is a set and uh, B depends on A such that uh, every B of X is a set, then uh, the um, dependent pair is a set. Now we see a counterexample, and uh, we prove that uh, universes are not sets. 
to obtain this result, uh, we need to introduce a type, which is a type two, the coproduct of uh, one and one, which has uh, two elements, zero, two, and one, two, which are distinct. So uh, to prove that uh, the universes uh, are not sets, we need to show that uh, there is a type A and uh, a path P from A to A, which is not uh, equal to the reflexivity. So uh, this will mean that uh, A equal A has two distinct terms. We take uh, A as uh, the type two, and uh, we define a map F from A to A, which is uh, the switch map. So we define F of zero as one, and uh, f of one as uh, zero. We have, of course, uh, that, that uh, f uh, composed to f uh, is uh, the identity for all the axes uh, in uh, two, by case analysis. And so we can, uh, so it holds that uh, f is an equivalence. But uh, so by univalence, we have that uh, f originates a path p from a to a which uh, must be different uh, from REFL. Indeed, if uh, um, P and REFL were, e were equal, then uh, we would have bionivalence uh, that F is the identity function of uh, A, which would imply that uh, zero is equal to one. So um, from, for this reason, uh, we, we can conclude that uh, universes are not sets. And, I think that that's it for uh, today. Next time we'll uh, go into the details of uh, of classical logic in uh, in our system. <laughs>